Earth-3 is a fictional alternate universe set in the DC Comics universe. It is the Earth of an alternate reality in the DC multiverse. It first appeared in Justice League of America No. 29 Publication history Topic 1964 to 1985 Original concept Earth 3 was introduced by Gardner Fox and Mike Sikowski in a 1964 issue of Justice League of America Earth 3's history is depicted as a mirror image to that of the Earth we know. On Earth 3, Christopher Columbus was American and discovered Europe, England a colony of America won freedom in a reversed form of the Revolutionary War with George Washington surrendering his sword to Charles Cornwallis in 1774. President John Wilkes Booth was assassinated by actor Abraham Lincoln. Crucially, Earth-3 was home to an analogue to the Justice League, the Crime Syndicate of America. The Crime Syndicate would recur as powerful enemies of the Justice League until DC's 1985 company-wide crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Crisis revealed that Lex Luthor, here called Alexander Luthor, is the only superhero on an Earth otherwise occupied entirely by villains, most of whom are reversed analogues of heroes on other DC Earths. Earth 3 is destroyed by waves of antimatter in the opening scenes of the series. The sole survivor is the son of Alexander and Lois Lane Luther, Alexander Luther Jr. At the conclusion of the series, all other worlds in the multiverse were merged. Topic: 1992–2011 Anti-Matter Earth New Multiverse. DC used Crisis on Infinite Earths to simplify its complex continuity and multiverse into a single narrative set on a single universe, not counting the antimatter universe which was integral to the story of how the Green Lantern villain Sinistro acquired his powers. Editorial mandate initially meant stories featuring the crime syndicate were entirely unavailable to writers, but DC later attempted to reintroduce the crime syndicate without the setting of Earth-3 in 1992's Justice League Quarterly No. 8, which featured a group of aliens from the planet Quard, the antimatter counterpart of Oa, who functioned as more powerful. Justice League analogues. This first attempt at bringing back the crime syndicate did not stick, and the principal concept behind Earth 3 would be revisited in Grant Morrison's JLA, Earth 2. Morrison recast much of Earth 3's history as that of the antimatter universe's own version of Earth, which is home to the crime syndicate of America. He makes notable departures to this formula however, by presenting this world as the product of an alternate history and by reimagining various crime syndicate members for example, by recasting Owlman as Batman's brother Thomas Wayne, and by recasting Ultraman not as the alien Kal-El but a human astronaut who acquires Kryptonian abilities. At the end of JLA, Earth 2, America had launched a nuclear strike on London, against Britain's independence movement. In Superman, Batman Annual No. 1, three members of this crime syndicate of America—Ultraman, Owlman, and Superwoman— 
appear on the main DC Earth, along with an unnamed antimatter doppelganger of Deathstroke, whose behavior, including humorous breaking of the fourth wall, and powers are the same as Marvel Comics Deadpool, hired to protect Bruce Wayne. The story supposedly takes place as the first time Superman and Batman figure out each other's identities, and matches Batman, Superman, and Deathstroke against their respective antimatter selves. The story is told by Mr. Mixiespitlik and may therefore be completely untrue. In the final issue of the 52-issue weekly series 52 in 2007, a new multiverse is revealed, originally consisting of 52 parallel realities. Among the parallel realities shown is one designated, Earth 3, as a result of Mr. Mind, eating. Aspects of this reality, it takes on visual aspects of the pre-crisis Earth-3. The Earth-3 concept was not heavily explored after this, but does figure in a couple of issues of 52's follow-up weekly series, Countdown to Final Crisis 2007-8. The name of the new Earth-3 team is revealed to be the Crime Society of America. The Crime Society are considered to be evil versions of the heroes of Earth 2, acting as a new Golden Age counterpart to the antimatter Earth. A hero known as the Jokester operates in this universe, as later do the Riddler, Three-Face, Evelyn Dent, and Duella Dent. In Countdown No. 31 the version of Zatanna Anitaz Aritaz from this world was used by Superman Prime to keep Mr. Mixiespitlik in check. Based on comments by Grant Morrison, this alternate universe is not the pre-Crisis Earth 3. Despite the return of the DC multiverse and the creation of a new Earth 3, the antimatter Earth still exists in Quard, acting as an inverted microcosm of New Earth. The pre established crime syndicate of America from the antimatter universe were then featured heavily in Trinity, DC's third year long weekly series. Topic 2013 to 2016: The New 52. DC again rebooted its continuity in 2011 as part of the New 52. In 2013, the Trinity War crossover event reintroduces Earth 3. It is mentioned as the home of true evil and of the crime syndicate and that it was destroyed by an unknown entity. The crime syndicate is largely modeled after Morrison's, with the introduction of new characters, and by re-envisioning Ultraman once again as an alien with an origin story which more closely parallels Superman's. In the closing scenes of Trinity War, Ultraman, Superwoman, Owlman, Johnny Quick, Power Ring, Deathstorm, Alfred Pennyworth and Atomica reveal themselves to the Justice League of New Earth. Sea King also inhabited Earth-3, but quickly died after passing through the gateway to New Earth. An Earth-3 version Martian Manhunter is also revealed to exist. Alexander Luther, who can become Mazaz, is also from Earth-3, and an enemy of the crime syndicate. The official site of DC Comics describes Earth-3 as a world where the values of good and evil are reversed, with evil being the way of the world. Topic 2019 present DC Rebirth 
At the end of Superman No. 8, it's revealed that Superman's son, John Kent, arrived on Earth-3 where he is confronted by the crime syndicate after leaving his grandfather, Jor-El. In issue No. 9, John further expands on his time on Earth-3. He was sent into a volcano where Ultraman kept him prisoner and described John's predicament to him, being stuck on another Earth. From what was shown, it appears that Ultraman kept John prisoner for years until John formulated a plan to escape and eventually did so. He sought out the heroes of this universe and found the Earth-3 version of the Hall of Justice. But, it turned out to be the headquarters of the crime syndicate, and John is confronted by Superwoman, who is apparently the wife of Ultraman. Topic. Characters Topic. Groups Notes Topic In other media Topic Television In the CW's The Flash, Earth-3 is the home planet of Jay Garrick, John Wesley Shipp, Earth-3 and Earth-2 are swapped in the series. Earth-2 is the home of evil versions of characters on the show like Earth-3 is in the comics. Since Jay comes from Earth-3, it is implied Earth-3 is the home of Golden Age heroes like Earth-2 is in the comics. In the Season 3 episode, The Present, Barry Allen, Grant Gustin, visits Garrick on Earth-3 to seek advice on stopping Savitar. Earth-3 is seen in the Batman, the Brave and the Bold episode Deep Cover for Batman. Topic. Film. Earth-3 is seen in Justice League, Crisis on Two Earths. Topic. Video games Earth-3 is mentioned in LEGO DC Super Villains as the reality the crime syndicate came from. It is also revealed in the end of the story that the rookie, the custom character who becomes main part of the story, is also a resident of Earth-3. <laughs> <laughs> 